When a narcissist knows they're losing you for good, this is their last ditch strategy. Hey, wonderful viewers. Today, we're diving into a topic that hits close to home for many of us, the experience of regret. When a narcissist is on the verge of losing you permanently, what do they do? But before we get into it, I want to express our gratitude for having you as part of our community. Your support is invaluable. If you've enjoyed our content and would like to contribute to its growth, consider supporting us on Ko-Fi. Your generosity allows us to create more engaging content for you. As low as $1, your support means a lot to us. And if you decide to join our membership program, we have an exciting perk for you. Your name will be featured in our upcoming videos as a token of appreciation. It's a small way to recognize and celebrate the fantastic individuals who make our work possible. Regret is a universal emotion, a poignant acknowledgement of past actions or inactions that lead to unfavorable outcomes. It's a powerful feeling that can significantly impact our mental well-being. In this discussion, we'll explore the intriguing question of whether narcissists genuinely feel regret when losing someone. To unravel this, we need to understand the roots of human sorrow and the capacity to overcome it. Remorse often arises from a sense of guilt or regret, realizing that alternate actions were possible in the past. For some, sorrow becomes a catalyst for positive change, prompting different choices in the future. However, for others, it can evolve into a persistent source of anxiety and self-doubt. The ability to transcend regret often depends on an individual's self-awareness and emotional intelligence. The complexity deepens when we examine whether narcissists authentically mourn the loss of a loved one. Like insects relying on the energy of their surroundings, narcissists are experts at concealing their predatory nature and projecting an image of invincibility. Yet, beneath this facade, they are hollow, fragile, and insecure individuals. Unveiling their genuine reaction to sorrow and loss reveals a nuanced aspect of their character. Before we delve into this discussion, if you're intrigued by the complexities of human emotions and narcissistic behavior, give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to become a part of our community. Your support means the world to us. And for our returning viewers, share this video with those who might find it thought-provoking, and let's spark some engaging conversations in the comments below. Your insights add a unique dimension to our discussions. Now let's unravel the layers of regret and loss in the world of narcissists. Are you ready for this enlightening journey? Let's jump in. Narcissists live in their own world, where they don't understand sadness. They're only concerned with their own needs, treating others as tools to fulfill what they want. So when they lose someone, they don't feel bad about it because they don't see that person as an individual with their own feelings. Instead, a narcissist might say sorry, not because they genuinely regret losing someone, but as a tactic to regain control. They might use manipulative techniques like false promises or flattery to get that person back. However, their apologies lack sincerity because they don't genuinely feel sorry or guilty. Now the question is, do narcissists really regret losing someone? Well, they might feel something similar to sorrow, but it's not the same as how you or I would feel it. When we go through tough times, we often question our own actions. But for a narcissist, it's more about regretting not keeping a valuable source around. Their sadness isn't about losing a meaningful connection, but about finding a replacement who can meet their needs. For a narcissist, people are interchangeable suppliers. Losing someone isn't about the unique individual, but about losing access to what that person provided. Their guilt, if they ever express it, is more like, I should have kept this source around because I was benefiting from it. It's self-serving and not rooted in genuine remorse. So, after a breakup with a narcissist, if they apologize, it's likely part of their game to undermine your self-worth and throw you off course. Genuine remorse isn't in their playbook because their version of reality is false. They lack a moral grounding, and their actions are driven by a focus on maintaining a false image rather than genuine concern for others. While others may have awareness to guide their actions and learn from mistakes, a narcissist lacks this capacity. Even if they treat you unfairly, their obsession with their false image outweighs any concern for your well-being. So if someone didn't appreciate you for who you are, don't grieve their departure. They use your energy and resources for their own needs. 
Recognizing these red flags is paramount when dealing with a narcissist. If you've gained insights from this video, feel free to share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Let's continue the discussion until our next conversation. Wishing you a fantastic day. For more in-depth guidance on navigating relationships with narcissists, don't forget to explore our free book and consider a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Find the link in the description. Your support and engagement are greatly appreciated. Until next time, take care.